The Save the Children International, in partnership with the United Kingdom Agency for International Development, UK Aid, says all is set for the commencement of the second phase of its Child Development Grant Programme. The initiative, which was launched in Zamfara and Jigawa states about six years ago, is aimed at reducing widespread poverty, hunger and malnutrition among pregnant and lactating mothers. Our correspondent, Amadin Uyi, reports. The Child Development Grant Program was launched in the year 2013 as an unconditional cash transfer program. The six-year-long social protection program which was implemented by the Save the Children International in both Zamfara and Jigawa states, ended in 2019 and was sponsored by the United Kingdom's Department for International Development, DFID. Assessing the program after completion of its first phase in 2019, findings show an improvement in the standard of living of beneficiaries. The aim of the project, of the program, was to ensure that women um, very poor and vulnerable women have um, monthly stipends of 4,000 naira to contribute to the nutritional um, value of the family. Um, the program entirely had about 12 billion naira um, that was expended and it reached over 100,000 beneficiaries directly. However, the project wasn't without its own share of challenges. Some of the challenges of the monitoring that were, that were discovered during the monetary program on the field was just the distance in terms of the location. Uh, other challenges include security, uh, other challenges include um, payment for the beneficiaries in terms of liquidity, getting cash from the bank to the community. We had what we call the exclusion error and the exclusion error, whereby a beneficiary try to get into the program even when they are not eligible to be part of the system that those women who are not pregnant and they are trying to shortcut the system and then get themselves into the system. And also we also have the cross-border issue whereby women from other communities who are not eligible to be part of the program uh, find themselves, due to one reason or the other, be able to find themselves into the program. With the success recorded in the first phase of the project, the Save the Children International says, Preparations are now in top gear for the commencement of the project's second phase. With this in mind, the Save the Children International commenced its social protection training for civil society organizations as well as media practitioners. The program is focused on supporting policies, ensuring that we have the right policies in place, ensuring that we have the right systems and structures in place to implement um, social protection program, ensuring that um, the uh, civil society are able to participate effectively to, to hold government officials to account. Um, the interest of this exercise is to enlighten um, the CSOs and also the media about the social protection plan and also to give them a broader overview of the steps taken and decision making of all this plan for the government and also the media to be aware of what is happening and how it's been designed and how it's been implemented. Participants in the training which held in Kaduna, the Kaduna state capital, has been of immense benefit. Some of them shared major takeaways from the week-long training. This training has exposed us, especially myself, to a lot of issues that there are various areas that civil society organizations can key in to support government and so that they can make the program more uh, you know, uh, visible everywhere you go across the country. The major takeaway is that social protection is all-inclusive. All-inclusive in the sense that irrespective of tribe, religion, sex, or whatever, so long as an individual qualifies for intervention, he gets it. Amalin Uyi, Plus TV Africa.